Today, we're gonna to talk about what's the most effective way to present your product or service. Now, let me be clear. If you can help it, I would always go over the presentation, the proposal in person and or over Zoom rather than just emailing it. Now also, let me be clear. You might not even need a proposal for what you sell. It just depends on what industry you're in. Whether it's a one call or two call close, or it could be more of a B2B complex selling environment that takes multiple calls over months to close the deal. Here are some general rules to follow. Number one, do the presentation around the problems and issues that the prospect mentioned to you. So many salespeople try and show the entire solution we're presenting to prospects. That's how 50 page proposals and 90 minute presentations happen. Boring. Doing that will turn off your prospects. It will go in one ear, out the other. Instead, your potential customers, they wanna know if you can solve their problems and get them results. They care about solving the key challenges that are holding them back from getting where they want. So stop presenting all the features and benefits that have nothing to do with solving the prospect's problem. Only present directly to the issues the prospect mentioned during the engagement stage of the sales conversation. You have to customize each presentation to your prospect's challenges. Never do cookie cutter presentations. It will make them feel that you don't understand their needs. Now, number two, use case studies to reinforce solving other prospects' problems that you've worked with. This is very powerful if you know how to position it. You can show real life examples of other clients that were in similar situations and how your solution solved their problems. The case study should show the problems the prospect faced, what your solution did to solve those problems, and what the results of the work ended up being for that prospect. And you wanna have real numbers that can be objectively quantified. Remember your prospect cares most about results, not features and benefits. How does it help them get where they want to go? Always remember that, getting them to their objective state. Now, rule number three, asking, checking for agreement questions throughout your presentation and or your proposal. Most presentations are an hour or long more monologue with the salesperson talking most of the time about the features and benefits and blah, 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 how they have the best this and the best that, basically what every salesperson says about their product and service, right? Doing this is a disaster if you wanna be a top performer in sales. So to avoid this from happening, you wanna ask what we call checking for agreement questions. These questions engage the prospect during the presentation, create feedback and buy-in, and they increase the effectiveness of your presentations tenfold. They make you appear credible in their eyes and more of an expert or an authority figure. So I'm gonna give you a few examples of checking for agreement questions after you talk during your presentation. Does that make sense? Talk, 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 talk. Are we on the same page? Talk, 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 talk. What are your thoughts on that? Are you with me on this? Do you see how that might work for you? Do you see how that could help you? Okay, those are checking for agreement questions. What about this one? How do you see that part helping you the most though? Do you see how that works? You're gonna structure the presentation, problems that they had, here's how our solution solves those, and then a checking for agreement question after each one. These questions help you get a pulse on how the presentation is going with the prospect. It serves as a dialogue that keeps them engaged throughout the entire conversation. It makes the prospect feel that they are part of the process and much more likely to buy. You see how that works? I just asked you a checking for agreement question. Just now, you probably nodded your head. Now, during the presentation, I wanna be clear, you probably wanna ask around five to 10 of those checking for agreement questions, depending on what you sell, to make sure they're on the same page. And the amount of information the prospect needs to know, remember, will always be much less than the salesperson thinks it is. Okay, we just went over how to present your product or service the best way, and that is your tip for the day.